Hello, hello, dear friends. And this week we will be doing a bit of a uh, time travel back in time to a workshop that I did with my mom at the Rupert Museum in Stellenbosch. And it was all on Lino and it was very exciting because ta-da, she got to draw her very first tree. And she, <laughs> you could see she got a bit nervous when she realized I was filming her because she was like, I can't draw a tree. And I'm like, I don't know, that's pretty amazing for I can't draw a tree and pretty amazing for the first tree you've ever drawn. And I thought it was stylized really beautifully. Like I'm quite envious of her leaves. So I uh, may be artistically borrowing that in the future. Anyway, to my art, um, <laughs> this, everybody thought that it was a, a dog fairy. Um, which, I don't know, I feel like my dog fairy would be very indignant at that because they clearly have a raccoon tail. But <laughs> um, I, I realized while I was watching this video that I actually forgot to cut out the whiskers, which probably would have helped a little bit. Um, I don't know, it's, it's interesting to think about how representation in illustration is so important, like cats and raccoons and wild animals generally are associated with having whiskers and then dogs you generally don't see their whiskers but I mean they have whiskers so I don't know. Anyway it's always important to practice safety when you're doing lino and one of the things that you shouldn't do is cut towards yourself and or your face. <laughs> and yeah I don't know that's, that's just who I am I don't know why I'm like this. <laughs> you just can't take me anyway and then I just I continued to do that because I don't know, art is more important than my face, I guess. Uh, not a bad priority list. But yeah, you shouldn't really cut that way. I should have turned the paper around. But I wanted to see the kind of cuts that I could get um, by, by living on the edge, I guess. Um, I mean, that's kind of like a terrible pun, but not really. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, so this is just me kind of carving out what I'm uh, attempting to to make look like ballet slippers um, and what I sort of tried to make look like a raccoon but I don't know if it was a success or fail I don't know tell me in the comments if you think it's more raccoon or more dog <laughs> either way I know that it's fairy because they were fairy wings and uh, yeah, I, I could literally watch like a whole as ASMR videos on the sexy slurp slurp sounds <laughs> that you make when um, the ink is perfect for printing. It's just, it's so satisfying. I don't know, there's something just really exciting about having an art supply that um, like visually but also audibly gives you a like feedback telling you it's ready to to you know do gorgeous things and yeah this is just me trying to cover up all the white chalk <laughs> um and we then had one um proper printing machine and um a famous south african print artist um, was helping us and she was sort of in charge of running it through the machine so yeah she was she's very sweet um, she speaks mostly Afrikaans so when she gives the, her little presentation at the beginning it's a bit of a, a crazy disjointed adventure which is great and this came out perfectly because look at the contrast so then I did another one which was plain um, which kind of I got a strange look because people were like why why are you doing two and I'm like shh just let it happen <laughs> and now it's my mom's turn and the big reveal so she started off with a tree and she decided that she was actually going to go with like a weeping willow design which was based on um, Pierneef which I've already shared my my deep love for that dude and this is what she came up with first time drawing a tree I suppose this is the second time she drew a tree <laughs> and first time doing lino she was very upset because the registration was slightly off and um, she was like it's not my fault when I put it down I knew that it was gonna be off 
and um, she was like, Brother, you can't tell the instructor what to do. <laughs> and I was like, you're my mom, you probably, you probably would have <laughs> known who you are as a person. And yeah, it's interesting that, you know, here's a pun. Imagine what grew from drawing your first tree. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I had so much fun with my mom and I would love to know if any of you do any art with any of your family members. So comment below, subscribe, like. Okay, love you. Bye.